Hello, good morning. Welcome to Garden Chronicles. This is my May <coughs> month of May uh, update of what uh, what is happening in my garden. Uh, you can see from here my bird nest fern is been growing in, in in quite a good size now, and uh, some of the plants that I've been trying to grow over here seems to be some are doing well some i've just added few because it's like it seems to be bare and this is the update i find the palm is not really doing well as what i thought it was supposed to be uh i i've uh, added cordyline here and surprisingly they are doing well i had a few failures with it and i thought it was quite difficult uh, this is actually has a red border. This is a very common one. So there's two types uh, This this border green the red border with the green plant and there's a totally brown version of that This is a uh, Eparium pinnata. It's also uh, Common name is a uh, dragon tail It is com often uh, confused with monstera, but uh, they have they do have monstera features actually uh, but this is much more hardier than Monstera. For new beginners, I, I would really recommend you to try on this first before going through Monstera because somehow somehow Monstera seems to be more fussier than anything else. Aglonema here, and it, actually I have I found this. It was actually rescued. It's been actually thrown away in a bin, and I just poked over here, and, and it's growing well. It, it can also be known as uh, Chinese evergreen. But actually, it's, that too is an Aglonema species. Uh, coming up here, uh, this begonia is, seems to be doing so well over here, and I didn't want to disturb it, so I just left it as this. Another Aglonema. I, I like to add color, and somehow it's like in a small garden space. The compact, especially compact garden. Colors actually makes the place looks bigger and it creates sort of like more life in that sense. I've switched off the motor of my pond because it's too noisy and I doubt you can actually hear me. Oh yeah, actually I have a small basket and I, I placed all these uh, cuttings, photos and cheese, cheese leaf plant. I think it's also a monster adoni. A few others here and what it helps here is that all these life bearers like guppies and sorted they tend to come here and give birth and sort of it's like a small nursery over here so let's see if I, it, it, I i don't want to to raise up the water too high and the goldfish seems to go inside and it creates a havoc and this uh, watermelon begonia is actually a pilia oh, sorry uh, pilonia uh, quite a good plan actually. I'm so surprised the robustness of this. They really hardly no care and just seems to be able to do it so well. As as usual, with these things over here, caladium and <coughs> photos. Uh, the update with this uh, begonia. I think it's actually uh, more of a vex begonia type. So it's not actually a cane begonia. So they don't really grow big. It's like grow to a certain length and then it tend to become uh, matured and the leaf falls off and the whole plant dies so uh, it, propagating this is quite a challenge I am trying to cultivate some <coughs> moss here this is somehow like aquatic a bit so it's not so wet and not so dry so I have to uh, put in some other aquatic plants here some uh, water lettuce uh, you will you, you be you find it surprising that I'm actually trying to cultivate some tadpoles here. I find that what happened this few days, <clears throat> it's been raining crazy. And then after that, uh, it, it stopped raining. And I actually found this in a water puddle. And the saddest part here is that a lot of people are parking along this place. And uh, they get squashed and killed and, you know, and then... It's a sad thing. So I just collected them. It was about a few days now. I see that clearly. Uh, they're doing fine actually. 
So I'm planning to cultivate frogs here. Yeah, there's a lot of mosquitoes here, and, and I hope this ecology actually works. Apicia blue nine. It's quite stable here. Uh, this put this particular one actually gone dormant and almost dead. It's slowly picking up. <clears throat> a friend passed me this uh, fern. I think it's a ribbon fern or something. I checked out the name. It was uh, it was challenging for me to grow this from a small plant. Uh, it just got a, a good size uh, pot. And I think I see a new growth. The the earlier ones that it has burned, it's like uh, the newer ones are coming out to replace them. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, air plants as usual. Uh, I, I do find them challenging. It's, it's not easy. Uh, the, the, the issue that I actually face is that they, they tend to to sort of like uh, how do you say uh, like rust at the end and eventually wither away you know they dry and flake off so I'm, I'm not sure there's too much water or is it do with the fertilizer or is the virus or is the insect coming in it's like some things is just uh, let's go with it I have time to time uh, rearrange this in a small portion simply because like so the sun has now shifted not say shifted as a change is uh, uh, intensity of its heat like now it is more like toned down but it doesn't really shine bright so the ones that I kept here this portion was not receiving sun and and sort of like they were dying and I had to replace it back over here uh, Bromelets are doing fine, not so bad, but I, I'm afraid that in, in, uh, in a few more months time they're going to overgrow their pot and I have to find space to re replant and reset them. Begonia as usual is a bit of a challenge, but once they start picking up, they do well and beautiful. Uh, other than that, Aglonema also is a very stable plant. I would really recommend you to, to to have them because they are quite robust and able to handle whatever that you throw at them. Made in heaven. As I said, sensitive one, so I actually grow near the water. This is actually a drain kind of thing. But I actually also cultivate a uh, fish over here to control the mosquito problem. A fancy leaf plant. A uh, fancy, <coughs> fancy leaf. Uh, fern also this uh, selling gelina that thing is a blue fern I believe. managed to get it and I found it actually by the dream site together with the moss this particular moss so yeah see how it goes uh, black flamingo it is a genesariate similar to apicia see uh, it, I, <clears throat> I don't really bank in a long term basis because sometimes they just come up strong and then they just die away. It's, it's, it's quite a challenge. I like this one. This is like falling on here to find a way to, to properly grow it. Other than that, uh, yeah, the, 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 the begonia says you sure. Uh, they have now st have stabilized. Uh, this one inside here, the, the, it, it is like, they have grown quite well actually. I mean, quite challenging, but uh, eventually uh, they really picked up. Uh, like as, my, as I mentioned earlier, you can see it. Yeah, I also added episodes here because I thought like the and the, the challenge that I face with this one here is that the ants tend to come and farm on them, bringing uh, scale insects. And so what happened here is that the infection doesn't seem to go no matter what I use. And if the pesticide is too strong, the plant tend to die and they go dormant and this is quite a struggle. I think I lost a lot of them. So I'm just mending the one that I have in my hand and I'm not going to replace them. So whichever that is in my hand, they grow, they grow. If they die, they die and kind of thing. I think most likely I'm going to replace more than the ones that is more hardy. 
uh, <coughs> uh, Devin back here is a Dumkin family kind of thing very closely related to Aglonema uh, but this one has a very good variation of colors Syngonium I think it's reverting to it's more of a wild side it's it's trying to give you three lobes and then eventually might go to six lobes so I, I may have to trim it because I don't want them to grow too big and it will become very wild like but I, I I somehow like the color that they give because what I'm actually looking for is the contrast because it's like I, I, I really can't work out with any other colors with the green that I have so I just have to make do with what I have in my hands uh, yes clean begonias maculata and picta if I'm not wrong the, the 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 thing that I really love about them is that they are spots they don't they don't disappear away when they become a, a adult plant there's another bit what they say that is that the the spot tend to disappear when from the juvenile the, the and then when they grow big and it's just lost like like for a girl especially at this particular one all spots are gone I mean you can see some visible ones but that's about that but this one wow I just admire that I'm not sure you can really uh, see it so well in the camera but uh, oh this insect I don't know what this is lip hopper I guess so so yeah look at it mm, now I have an insect problem to figure out what am I supposed to do with it anyway yeah so this is another one i think it's a uh, jewel i think i forgot the name i'll check it out uh i actually lost this one time ago and i actually bought it and somehow cultivating it and it's doing swell and yeah this but this particular one also slowly picking up let's call it black velvet begonia all right so this region here is covered yeah alocasia somehow i find alocasia this one has been with me for, i can't even imagine a few months but it's the one singular leaf and that's it uh, i can't begin to come up with the uh, botanic name scytholitis uh, or something like that uh the other one is a uh, ox tail leaf if i'm not wrong but apart from their name the the plant is quite robust i, I would really recommend this particular one because they you can see it more clearly here yeah it is perf it is much more stable and it's easy to handle in comparison with the uh deafened back here I would really recommend that you, you, you go ahead with this because it's like, uh, how do you say? Uh, they can handle heat uh, and the leaf don't think, seems to die or burn at the edges. Unlike some uh, Cattleyas and, and Marantanian species, it, this one seems to do very well. And I, I just love this crinkle and then there's a love shape. I have come across the reverse of this particular one, but uh, uh, how do you say? I'm not hunting it because it's like looking in my garden. I, I really wonder where am I going to place it once it gets it. Yeah, and this one, definitely back here. Have you seen it? I see this is what I meant. It just burns. I, I don't find that with this particular one. Uh, I'm still wondering whether I want to cut this and replant it back or let it go and see how it works southern garden you just had to go with it and see how it went walking walking iris the yellow one has not flowered yet after it's finished its flowering season i have added this this taro i think uh, the name seems to be a bit challenging because first i thought it was calocasia but now it's lecosia uh the names it's it's quite a challenge anyway this is a, a different type uh please forgive me with your names it's like all of them are more of a hybrid so it's like i'm just trying my best and figuring out what the closest thing 
one of the things that I notice here is that the variation this is two tone the light green the dark green and this one if I'm not wrong is known as Mary if I'm not wrong uh, oh my goodness why is it so bad the camera is not focusing properly okay yeah see and each leaf if you look at it is very uniquely different you won't believe it this one this particular one is the same as this and if you look at it because it has been receiving so much a sun uh, it, it so how do you how, how do you say it? like it, you, you can't identify it just by by uh, by seeing that one particular leaf and you say oh this is it because it's like they change they tend to change when they're exposed to sun it's totally different and then it's like in total shape it's totally different like, i want to show you this this particular one i just noticed today this is in total shade how do you uh say if all of the sleeves were in this condition and this is actually mary so yeah the, 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 that goes to the idea of identifying different backyards anyway coming back here this is a collection that i i planted all of the other different backyards and uh, this is a total green version i had this this uh, problem of like should i get it or should i not get it should i keep it should I? And then eventually i find like please take james and so there here is this, this uh another one this particular one and this is actually a very huge plant actually i just trimmed and replanted and it never seems to grow big and this is a huge plant actually. this is as big as the mary there's another one uh, there's about three different types of this the variation is over here actually this is fully covered there's some with spots like this and some is like that yeah so what do i give uh, this actually a colocasia very much ap having appearance of uh, chalidium so you know, the, the kind of thing there's a different uh, different back here too uh, over here is where I place all my Marantana species just to give the color they, they, it's like they don't love what too much water not too much sun uh, and shade loving and like uh, uh, yeah a lot of people say why is it burn what can I do about it uh, I, I really give up on that I just leave it as it is it burns it burns uh, you can't do much anything about it. Uh, it's more to do with the water intake. So it's too much with the minerals and this is what happens. The plant tend to push away all the things that he doesn't like at the age of it. And this is what happens to the burning. And yeah, here's my orchid collection in Hoya. Uh, they hardly bloom yet. I may have to replace them to a different location. Uh, the problem here is space Way much earlier it was over here actually The problem is when I put it here become Very unruly they started to grow everywhere with their tendrils and I was not able to control it like over here It's like they are all in their own Specific station and don't overgrow and become invasive Ripsilis, I, I, I like this cascading effect with cascading wall kind of thing so when I see from the other end, it, it gives that kind of a wall that I want. I uh, plant, I think you've seen it before in the last video. This is update. Uh, also, this is another type of air plant, Tilacendia something. Sinia, I think I'm wrong. Uh, is this more, this is the only one that I actually grow in a soil-based medium, uh, apart, from, apart from others. Uh, okay, ferns. I'm not actually cultivating them. They actually grow up from the, the cocodema ball. So I'm just leaving it as this. There's another recipe. Rip I, I, I like this formation. It's like a turtle shell kind of thing. Let's see. Oh. Alright. Let me get the other side. Alright. Okay. Someone asked me about <clears throat> tassel fern. Uh, how do I propagate it? So, it's quite a challenging thing. What what I can suggest here is this: you get a uh, a ball or a pot 
and place them on top or the end of the plant. So what happens is it will eventually take root and they will start a new plant from there. Similarly, uh, this one. Can you see this? Uh, I, I, I have not done actually. This, this particular uh, tassel fern, if you can see it, it started, started off here. Actually, what happened here is that this, this particular pot, this particular uh, tassel fern, this this leaf edge has sort of like started off from from the end of uh, the cocodema ball and it started on new. What I placed here is this particular pot and I tried to propagate it from here but it was not successful because I think the substrate is too wet and uh, and the whole thing started to rot and I have to redo again. Eventually I might do that later. Other than that orchids the uh, sign is coming and it's not clear okay uh, this is the night bloom night blooming uh, queen night queen I think it's like uh, it's, it's, it's sort of like uh, so let me go to alright yeah It, 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 I actually found this and I just poked them over here and uh, they're doing fine it's about a few weeks ago but uh, what do you say you just have to keep an eye on them because it's very difficult to see whether they survive or die away other than that okay. let me see if you get a proper angle Yeah, this one. I plant uh, Spanish moss. Very stable from the last time the video that I've taken. You can see it. Yeah. I have not uh, collected or went to the nursery this day during this MCO period. So I'm just maintaining what I have in my hand. Tedis Kintia, Wandering Jew. This one is a bit different from the others that I have. So intrigue me whether they are actually from a different species or because of the condition the leaves are different. Very difficult to tell which is which now. Uh, I This name escaped me. I figured out what is it but I, I just love this coloration. What I do is I just trim and I just poke and just fill up the pot to give that color you know sometimes it's it's more of a visual that i'm actually looking for rather than cultivation or a specific species and all that uh entorium uh, from the day one that i bought till now the flower have not gone it's still there of course it's uh, burning off and fading away but uh, it's quite stable mm. so that's that's the thing about it uh Oxalis is it? Yeah. yeah, the flower. Just for colors, actually. This is a variegated Indian borage. I'm still figuring out whether I want to trim it or leave it. It's just that uh, I like the succulent leaf uh, factor of it. Uh, this is a different type of uh, zigzag plant. You can see, yeah, okay. What else? Yeah, this one. Earlier, I was actually having all my apicias here. I, I just eventually removed them, it was just too difficult to handle. And it's like an eyesore because no matter how much I try and do, it's just not doing well. And uh, it's a piper, it's a common one, but uh, I like lime green col coloration. And this one has uh, more of uh, a nice pinkish red color on that. Uh, Mikan. Yeah, 
this uh, what you call the the one Mandarin Jew. Let's see. It. I think I'll come to the other end. Ah. So I'm actually trying going for colors actually. So it's not so much on the cultivation. This is actually a sweet potato wine, but it's more of the it has a neon colorization. Uh, also this uh, bicolor, seekers bicolor. Oh, just love the way he gives out the colors. The red, red vein tears. Uh, they are not very for, they are not very forgiving. You make a mistake and then they just die off. But once they pick up, they are quite good. Uh, also, this one of the novelty plant, string of hearts. They are passed to me by a friend. Just trying my best to grow. Yeah, yeah, it's a kind of say snake you, Carissa Rappens. Oh, yeah, I'm just keeping a hoya here, see how he behaves. Dixidia, uh, yeah, it's a little overgrown. So, this is actually the outside, a little bit of it. Yeah, my Caladium. Kerala lily, teacup, you can see it. Teacup or coffee cup, I'm not really sure which one is which now. Yeah. And uh, another collection, Equitrice, if I'm not wrong. It's a collection of my. Collection of my. Colliers. <laughs> yeah. Finding a name is not coming to my mind. It's actually a miniature rose. Uh, I'm not a rose fan, but uh, some of the small cute ones and the hardy ones, I'm, I'm okay with that. Another zigzag, I think it's a bird something. It's uh, deciduous, so it drops off all the leaves and it's just a flower. It's cute in that sense. Yeah, the sun is coming up. I, I, I try not to grow grass, so I replace them with this. I think it's Carissa repents with another trader scantier and the ferns and, and all that. Earlier over there, I actually placed that. It's, it's not doing so well, so I, I, I brought it over here because it's not enough sun. And uh, it's slowly picking up. So I, I will show the update when the plant is fully grown. Uh, then over here same thing no grass so if you have grass try to grow this ground cover is it's, it's quite uh, quite hardy actually it is one of the last rem remaining apicias yes i think the ants have not found this place yet for some reason so they're doing fine this is sort of my propagation station i actually grow the cane begonias and monstera peru if i'm not wrong and photos and singonium now this is the this is the ideal leaf structure that i'm actually looking for anything goes beyond this is is horrible philodendron uh aglonema Single in pink, and this is another flood engine. I, I can't remember the name. This is uh, asparagus fern. Okay, I, I had to rearrange this place, but uh, yeah, it's quite bad. Another African mask. It has gone dormant actually, but it's slowly picking up. This, uh, yeah, what is that? Satin photo. Skisnappers or something like that. I only have this version. The other reverse version, I've already lost it. I didn't realize that it's dead and it's gone. I had to like cultivate this and see how it goes. Very difficult plant for me. A lot of people say it's, it's easy, but yeah. For some, it's just 
doesn't make doesn't make sense uh, yeah so it's, it's very difficult to get this place in camera because the sun and the car that has been parked by my neighbor's side and and this is how it is keeping my how do you say it? the smallest garden ever and as many plants as possible I hope uh, borderline <laughs> plant holder <laughs> okay uh yeah uh, i do not know whether i missed out something uh but um, the son of the king begonia i'm surprised it's ayah if i'm not wrong it's not cane actually it's more like a shrub it's doing wine well i mean like i hopefully nothing happens to it but it, it needs to be staked and Straighten, you know, the whole thing seems to be like collapsing, and I'm thinking about should I trim it and propagate it or leave it? Because if I were to do that, the whole plant becomes goes into a shock, and you know? and the one that I trim and propagate might die off, and the mother plant dies off, and that's the end of this particular species. Uh, this one, Pitonia, horrible challenge, they are not. Uh, stable in my place I mean, like it, it looks good then uh, that's it it's one plant and that's a uh, that's about it so then I trim and replant it it doesn't really fill up this is supposed to be a full pot of phytonia actually two pots of it it's not happening so I started to plant other species inside here all right I think I covered for today thank you so much giving me 30 minutes of your time uh, I hope you enjoy my garden update yeah, and the Sun is slowly coming up so hope to see you soon uh, if you have any comments and questions to ask feel free to to ask and uh, I'll try my best to reply and uh, do feel free to click like and subscribe my videos thank you so much have a nice day